These are the things that an appraiser looks at during the appraisal of your home. Hi, my name is Amy Brown. I'm a realtor in the Orlando, Florida area. Let's dive right in. I'm going to let you know what the appraiser is looking for. One of the steps in a home selling process is the buyer of your home may likely be getting a mortgage. Maybe not. If they're a cash buyer, that's great. But if they're getting financing, it will be contingent on an appraisal. So what does this mean for you as the seller? What is going to happen during the appraisal? The appraiser is going to look at five main areas. They're going to start with the exterior of your home. They're going to walk in your yard. They're going to walk all the way around your home. They're going to look at the soundness of the structure, the foundation, the slab, and just the general home maintenance of the exterior of the home. For example, they're going to look at your roof. If there's a hole on your roof or something similar, the appraiser could flag that as delayed maintenance and require that that be fixed before the uh, mortgage can go through. And it could be a situation where the roof might have to have a major repair. It could also be the roof might need, heaven forbid, to be replaced. Sometimes that happens in a a home sale transaction. The appraisers are looking for items that impact the buyer's health and safety, conditions that could possibly harm the buyers. If you have any issues with your home that you know about, you may not, but if you know of any, please, please, please take care and address these items before your home goes on the market. You'll have to address these now or later. It's always best to do it up front. Go ahead if you have the time and watch my three deal killer video. It's a short little video, but it really shows you what uh, are the three major deal killers that can really interrupt a a very, what could have been a smooth uh, home sale process. The curb appeal does matter during an appraisal. You want to make a good first impression on the appraiser. Make sure you pull up all the weeds, rake up any leaves, no debris, no trash. Just have your home look very nice. Next up, the size of your property. The appraiser is going to go into every room. They're going to take measurements of every room in your home. They're going to determine the price per square foot of your home. They're going to take photos of every room in your house. It's okay if you have boxes, some boxes. The appraisers know that you know you're in the process of moving, but you don't want your home to to not you know look well maintained either so just you know you use caution a few boxes are fine but but just try your best (laughs) try your best they're going to verify the square footage that's in the mls listing they're not going to rely on what the realtor puts in on the mls if you're saying the home is 3,000 square feet they are going to do their own measurements and they are going to use their own measurements. They're going to look at the condition of the interior of the property. Like I said, they are going to go into every room. So be prepared for that. Have the beds made. Have your home look nice just like you normally would. You want to clean your house before the appraiser comes over just to give them the correct impression that this home was well loved, well cared for, and well maintained. They're gonna look at the windows, the doors, the flooring, the walls, the plumbing, the electrical, the kitchen, and the bathrooms. And depending on the type of mortgage the buyer gets, uh, for example, if they're getting an FHA or VA loan, they, the appraiser may you know, turn on all the faucets, flush all the toilets, it just depends. Every appraiser is different, so there's there's no 100% rule about what's going to happen other than they will go into every single room. They want to look at every, everything being in operable condition. You don't want a leaky faucet. They will notice that. They want the home to be maintained, and they will flag items, even in a conventional mortgage, if they see that maintenance has been deferred. 
they're going to look at the improvements you've made to your home while you've lived there and what kind of upgrades, the quality of the upgrades. They're going to look at the flooring type that you may have put in. They're going to look at the kitchen remodel. Is it a custom remodel, very expensive, or is it, you know, a more budget-friendly uh, Home Depot remodel? They're, they're going to note that. They're going to look at the bathroom. Was the tile from Italy or from Home Depot? They're going to make, you know, make mention of that. They're going to look at the age of the HVAC system. You don't want to over improve your house for the area. You want to make smart improvements that are in keeping with the area. They're going to look at the amenities of your home. They're going to notice and note if you have a pool, if you have an outdoor kitchen, wouldn't that be lovely? Whether you have an elevator, whether you have professional landscaping, whether you have a screened in lanai, whether your driveway is paver or concrete, they're gonna look at all these details and these amenities will likely add value to your house. They're going to, the, the appraisers are going to use the comparable sales price approach method, which is using the most recent data from similar and like in kind homes. A ranch style home is not likely to be compared to a two story colonial or a contemporary home. A 3000 square foot home isn't likely to be compared to a 1600 square foot home the appraisers are going to look back to the last three months of data on occasion they will go back six months on a rare occasion they can ask their supervisor for an exception to go back longer if your neighborhood for some reason has not had any sales it's pretty rare that that happens but that's something that they can do they're going to focus on the location the age and the condition of your home if you have a three bedroom home and a four bedroom home on your street that's very similar, the appraiser might use this four bedroom home as a comparable and just make a price adjustment for the other home having an extra bedroom. But they try to stay as close to your home as possible when determining the current market value. And that's it. That's what the appraiser does. That's what the appraisal is. I hope that lessens your stress now that you know what to expect. If I can be your resource here in Orlando, Florida, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to assist. Thanks for watching.